Matthias Lutz, uh, Business Development Manager, Siemens Digital Factory Division. Um, and uh, Matthias, um, tell me a, l a little bit about your job, what, what you do. Give me a brief summary. Yeah. I'm the Business Development Manager for Mindsphere, the open IoT operating system from Siemens. Mindsphere, our operating system, enables customer a way into digital services and digitalization in general. Now what kind of applications, uh, they, I mean they're very varied I imagine, there's so many things you can do with a cloud uh, platform, but uh, what would you say are the more interesting um, applications for Mindsphere? Um, if I may answer the other way around, everything starts with collecting data, capturing data. Where do I get data from? Out of the automation layer. Siemens as a leader in industrial automation has more than 30 million automation devices in the field. That's why we have developed our Mind Connect uh, software suite. Not only software suite, as well Mind Connect hardware. So how does it work? We have dedicated IoT Internet of Things gateways where you can capture data out of the machine of feed level. We support open standards such as OPC UA and all over the Siemens booth here at Hannover Fair 2017, you are seeing Siemens automation components like network devices, PLCs, um, control systems directly linkable to Mindsphere. But much more than that, we are also setting um, open standards or promoting open standards. Uh, how we do that? We bring into the market MindConnect software and MindConnect library and this allows in the form of a toolbox each and every hardware developer to um, develop and own MindSphere connectivity into each and any hardware device, automation device or sensor. We have captured data, the customer captured data, it is transferred to the platform MindSphere. MindSphere is the open IoT operating system and it allows you as well as a customer to use different infrastructures. In our Mindsphere launch, you see different partners such as AWS, Amazon Web Services, such as Microsoft with Microsoft Azure, and all those partners will provide our customers a highly scalable IT infrastructure where they can host their Mindsphere. As in private life, as in our smartphone, everything is about applications. So Siemens is offering a couple of applications such as the fleet manager. The fleet manager is always the start. So if you talk about the Internet of Things, you first have to make your things visible in the virtual world. The fleet manager can be seen here live at our booth and much more than that, Siemens with our hardware units and software units, we are starting to bring more and more applications into Mindsphere. At our booth, you can see more than 50 applications from Siemens and from partners. For example, we have there a application for the food and beverage industry, an application which is allowing uh, line operators, filling line operators, to monitor the overall equipment efficiency of a filling line. You can see it live here at our booth. Is it only about Siemens? No, it is not. It is as well about partners. Partners like app developers. App developers, you can talk to them right here at the trade fairs, such as Bentley Systems, such as Atos, such as Evosoft. They are currently developing applications for Mindsphere. Applications with which do a specific job for a piece of hardware or for a specific industry like the food and beverage industry. Is it only about large software companies who can develop apps? Def definitely not. It's also about small software companies. So each and everyone can use Mindsphere in the near future to develop, deploy and distribute a a specific app in this open IoT operating system. So what we will see in future, we will see an app store 
with hundreds of industry specific apps in Mindsphere. So how do you project the future uh, of Mindsphere? I do see a huge potential in digital services, in the digital IoT operating system and much more. I see as well the great potential of integrating the whole digital life cycle from product design to product development to um, production development, production execution in Mindsphere or linked via Mindsphere. At the moment, it, it's a very newish industry in the, the software part of it. I wanted to know how you see the market developing. So what, what we do see at the Hanover Fair here is um, the overwhelming interest in digitalization in general and platforms and app development. Um, I've learned during the Hanover Fair a lot about the requirements from app developers. I heard about great ideas for apps. I heard as well about um, things, hardware, machines, sensors, which are to be connected to Mindsphere or an IoT operating system. So I do expect that a majority of devices, industrial devices, will be connected to platforms. I personally do see a couple of platforms coexisting in future and maybe a couple of very specialized ones. but. Um, in the end, it's, um, in my opinion, a matter of two to three large platforms in the industrial field. What has been your experience of uh, Hanover Mess? What, what, do you, what, do you, what were the main things that you think you learned or achieved from, from this week? Um, during the last three years, we saw, let's say, a development from a let's say rough idea about industry 4.0 uh, to first projects at customers strategies emerging at customers regarding digitalization and what we do see now this year it is there it is there all our customers nearly all of our customers start their journey to digital services digital enterprise based on platforms and um, it's not only a topic which is on a high level, it affects every part of the company, from CEO to production to the individual worker. And our customers do begin to connect, do begin to use first applications and do begin to uh, develop their own approach to digitalization based on platforms based on operating system. So it is there and we will see more and more machines to be connected and we will see as well in the ecosystem, in the partner network, um, yeah, future applications which do certain jobs for our industrial customers. Many of our customers out of machine building or end customers are using data data based on main Mindsphere for predictive maintenance. What does this mean? If I know based on data that a part like a motor is likely to, uh, is likely to fail, to break down in hours, in days, I can use already today this data, for example vibration data, to specifically monitor this piece of hardware. So that's predictive maintenance based on data. It is there, customers are using it. And much more than that, it's not only about certain technical use cases, it's about digital services. Digital services which are based on the hardware. So imagine a customer is not selling anymore its machine, he's selling the output of the machine. That's digital transformation. For example, a manufacturer of compressors can sell as well if he decides to change his, change his business model like that, compressed air. What does he need for it? He needs a platform, he needs data analytic capabilities and he needs a business model around it. And this is happening right now. Companies are changing their business models based on digitalization as well.